Here's the field for the 12th race condition trot. Number one is Slammin' Sammy, owned by the JMV Standard Breads with Mark Kismodo. Number two, Priceless Gem, owned by Schnitker, Seal Stable, and Calcs with Ray Schnitker. Number three is John Fiore's Armbro Sensible with Stefan Bouchard. Number four, Scrappy Spring Day. She's owned by Vincent Nardiello, make the driver Ross Wolfenton. Number five, Miss Katie D, owned by Peter Boyce. She's driven by Dave Miller. Number six, Hey Ladies, owned by Kelly Stakowitz with Jim Doherty. Number seven is Richard Hollihan's River of Glory with Luke Willett. Number eight, Dusty Lane Cody, owned by John D'Antonio Jr. with Jim Morrill Jr. Number nine, Ringside Leah, owned by Bob Harper and William Vandervoort Jr. with Ron Pierce. And number 10, Yankee Survivor, owned by Let It Ride Stables, De Niro, and Juniper 2 Limited Liability Corporation. Ross Key Survivor lagging sulky. way behind the gate as they head toward the start. Final field sent on their way. Dusty Lane Cody from the outside, but there goes Miss Katie D for Miller from between horses. Miss Katie D trots on to the front. Armbro Sensible has come away racing in second. Toward the inside in third is Priceless Gem as they head around the opening turn. Hey Ladies up on the outside to his inside. Slam and Sammy is now fourth. Hey Ladies backs off and drops in fifth. Racing in sixth on the outside, Dusty Lane Cody now with room to settle in. Scrappy Spring Day is seventh as they hit the quarter in 28 and two. Eighth on the outside, River of Glory as they move on to the back stretch. Two lengths further back to the three-year-old filly ringside Leah and Yankee Survivor never made the gate. He's not traveling all that well and is another eighth of a mile behind the field. Armbro Sensible gets to the lead but rushing up and now going off stride, Priceless Gem. Priceless Gem was brushing toward the lead but jumped it off. So now coming up first over, Dusty Lane Cody is second and pressing for the front. Miss Katie D shuffled back a bit third. Up on the outside, River of Glory gaps cover fourth, 58 and three, the half mile time. And it's Dusty Lane Cody who clears the front end. Following River of Glory's cover is Scrappy Spring Day who finds herself second over. Slam and Sammy shuffled back on the inside. Hey Ladies sits loose cover third over from seventh. Eighth is ringside Leah, then trotting ninth, Priceless Jim, who's already caught the field after that break, and still far behind trailing the field, Yankee Survivor, as they head to the three-quarter marker, and it's Dusty Lane Cody and River of Glory stride for stride, three-quarters in 128 and two, and River of Glory has taken the lead at the top of the stretch. Dusty Lane Cody could not hold her off. Scrappy Spring Day has floated up with cover. She's now into second. Armbrough Sensible is fourth in between horses. Hey, ladies on the outside. Miss Katie D needs room. Ringside Leah with late trot. It's Scrappy Spring Day surging up on the outside to the front. And as they come to the finish, it's Scrappy Spring Day to pull off the big upset here. Miss Katie D got through for second in one fifty-seven and three. Turning to the winner's circle, number four, Scrappy Spring Day. A five-year-old mare by Scrappy Robert out of Max Satin Slipper by Super Mac E. All by Vincent Nardiello of Neptune, New Jersey. Joe Garino trains. Nice to see Ross Wolfenton back in the winner's circle at the Big M after missing a month while visiting his native New Zealand. Scrappy Spring Day, 157-3 for the upset here. Results have now been posted official. Three of four two four pays five ninety six eighty.